So a professional debut for Masood Abdullah. Afghanistan by birth. Now listed as fighting out of Islington, a former elite and tri-nations champion. 27 years old, comes into this after acquiring an international business management degree at Greenwich University, so getting his education in first and was a kickboxer initially and relatively late then coming into the pro ranks, but, well, a lot expected of him after that excellent amateur pedigree, Richie. He's turned pro quite late, hasn't he, at 27? But, yeah, he's had a, a good amateur career and um, he's done kickboxing as well, so um, it's not too late for him, most certainly not. And uh, you could say he's, he's, you know, he'll be quite matured and he's starting this fight very, very strong indeed on that front foot, looking for those body shots, whipping that right hook downstairs. That's a good shot. Or well, Bembere usually goes the distance. He's only been stopped twice in his 17 fights. He is very much a, of the opponent brackets, if you like, but he's a survivor, 28 years old, fighting out of Oldham, Zimbabwe born. Abdullah didn't actually start boxing with the Islington Amateur Club until 2017 and really packed in his fights after that, some 34, all in the space of two and a half years. Again, he's starting strong here, Abdullah on that front foot. Ben Berra himself just tucking up and trying to take those shots on the elbows. And just occasionally you see Benvera come out with a, with just a single punch, maybe just, just, just to catch Abdullah off guard. But it's all Abdullah, John, at this stage. That right hand particularly looks a hurtful weapon. Benvera seems to have sagged visibly. There's another one which thuds home in the solar plexus. And there's a decent left hook as well. He's really working away on the body here, Abdullah. Benvera needs to move, doesn't he, John? Get out of that corner. His feet are quite flat and he's just content to just to try and take the shots on the arms and elbows, but Abdullah is getting through with some big punches. Well, it's been a very uh, decent opening round as a professional, this, for Abdullah. Says he wants to be tested quickly, wants to move on and... There is some suggestion that although he's fighting here at Super Feather, that long term his future might be as a featherweight. Well, fair play to Bembera. He's soaked up quite a lot in this opening round and he's going to see it through OK. To, oh, that's a good right hand, though. And he's almost gone down. And I thought for a moment that Bob Williams was going to stop that then, but it comes right on the bell and he was really clipped heavily with that right hand as he backpedaled away. Yeah, last 10 seconds of the round, big shots went in from Abdullah and he just caught him a couple of seconds from the bell with a lovely right hand that staggered Bembra, who went back to the ropes, just gets through it, but a dominant round for... He was almost saved by the ropes, but well done, Masood Abdullah. A good opening three minutes. Seconds out, round two. So second round and the first one emphatically in the bag for Masood Abdullah. And when he clipped him with that right hand in those last seconds, almost looked as though it was only the ropes that kept Bembra upright. Yeah, I think you're right there, John. Um, Bembra, towards the end of the round, he just delivered one good right hand that just caught Abdullah uh, on, on the chin. It was a good shot, but he should, I think he should throw more of those type of punches. Abdullah's very confident on that front foot, coming forward, looking for the big shots downstairs. How long is this going to go on for, John? This is good stuff again from Abdullah. Well, just when he looks as though he's going to fold Bembra, though, he just fires a couple of shots yep. back. The referee's having a good look at him, though, just looked a little bit unsteady as he came off those ropes. Yeah, you said it. He just fires now and again a couple of shots. 
One or two maybe, but he's got to get his hands up. That's not good for Ben Burra there with his hands very low. Oh, cracking right hand left hook. Well, he's a pretty open target here, and you wonder how much further this is going to go. He's wanting to hold on now and buy a second or two, and there's an air of desperation about it. Not sure how much he's got left, and it's surely a matter of time here before Abdullah finds that big right hand that he wants, which is going to end this here in this second round. But again, just as he looks as though he's going to go, he comes back and fires a couple of shots. Yeah, instinctively there, just throws a shot from a, a real defensive position. He's getting caught left, right and centre, but just throws a right hand that just keeps him in it. But the referee is taking a good look at this. I think a good single shot might just do the trick in terms of the referee jumping in. Look, the referee's having a look. If nothing's going to come back, then he will jump in. Well, he's been caught by another couple of headshots, one through the guard as well, a straight right hand. Bob Williams, the referee, satisfied at the moment that he's still aware of what's going on, but he's having to ship a lot of punishment. There again, though, having taken those punches, he comes back with a sneaky right hand, yep. which catches Abdullah. Yep, that's the right hand we spoke about earlier that he should be throwing more of, because Abdullah... Very confident. He's trying to finish the job here and now, Abdullah. Just trying to catch him with a clean punch to finish this contest. But in doing that, he leaves himself open. And Bembera just found that right hand there. Taka Bembera himself only been a professional since June 2018. And he's managed to fit in 17 paid engagements since then, saving up money to start his own business. And the referee says that so far as this business is concerned, that's it. And that's a winning performance for Masood Abdullah. And he did everything that could be asked of him. He did indeed. He boxed very well there. Very strong performance from the opening bell and uh, have no... No, no problem with the referee jumping in the way he did there because there, was, there wasn't a lot coming back from Bembra, just the odd shot here and there, but the referee had seen enough. Good performance from Abdullah, hitting with every shot in the book. On that front foot, that right hand in particular was a, a great shot for him. There's the right up a good that went in and uh, the referee, Bob Williams there, he'd seen enough. Good decision there by the referee and a good performance for Abdullah making his debut, superb. Well, he'll have had a few nerves before it started, and he just manages to get those away and get the win. Happy days. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. Two minutes, 37 seconds of round number two. Our referee in charge, Bob Williams, stops the contest as the red corner was in no position to continue. Therefore, your winner and successful tonight in his professional boxing debut, Super Mass, Masood Abdullah. Masood Abdullah. First professional fight, first professional win. Masood Abdullah, you have been waiting months, maybe even years for that pro debut. It's finally come. Over How was it? Half. Over a year and a half, and um, I'm happy. I wish I got a little bit more rounds in, but, you know, what happened, happened. But well, you came out to James Brown, the boss. You were yeah. certainly the boss in there tonight. Is that just a taster of what we're going to get from you in the next few years? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, I'm looking to go out a lot more now, put on a, you know, better performances, a lot more skill, and just show a dominant skill, skill set. You stopped him in two rounds. Not a lot of people stop the man that you fought tonight. Tell us how you did it. Just threw a, punch, threw a bunch of punches. <laughs> That's it. Um, I kept, on, I kept on seeing an opening with the right hand, with the right hook to the side of the head. So I kept on going for that, kept on going for that. Then I changed it to the body, made him lower his guard. And then, um, yeah, my coach told me to go with uppercuts just because his head was leaning forward. So it was perfect placement. When you're looking back at it, can you, can you remember specific things? Because that's, that's your pro debut. To a lot of people, it will be a bit of a blur. You know, I speak to a lot of fighters after they've had their first fight. Can you remember specifically what happened in there tonight? Uh, yeah, I can remember a lot of stuff. Um, it's, I was trying to get my rhythm. I mean, I can remember every single thing that happened. I wanted to fight at a faster pace as the rounds went on. But yeah, that was it. <laughs> happy with your performance? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not super happy, but I'm, I'm content with it. 
content, yeah. Remember we speak before about uh, what, whatever your nickname was going to be. You were, there was talk of mass murderer Masood or, or things like that. You've gone with Super Mass. Tell us about that. Super Mass. Uh, it initially started off with my coach, uh, with well, my manager calling me Clark Kent because I had those glasses, and then my coach called me uh, Super Super Mass, and then I, you know, kind of stuck. I quite like it to be fair. Super Mass, super performance, and uh, we're, we're really looking forward to seeing more of you. Congratulations. Okay. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.